Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we are back with playing some hack slash loot. Um, with additional coding by Tomas P. Petter. Oh man, it's it's a slightly foreign name, so I know that. Uh, I think Tomas Peterson. The two T's make me want to say Peterson. Yeah. Anyway, well, you know, I always get these names wrong. And uh, the break. We have the human Amazon this time to try out, so we're going to totally try her out and do stuff like that, yeah, so. Um, I guess let's just go directly to the next, um, quest called Dark Hearts and Evil Minds. So we'll just start this up. Deep below the surface of the Earth, there lies a vast subterranean city. A city filled with black-hearted warriors and evil-minded wizards. Foolhardy would be the poor soul who had ventured there. But as sure as fortune favors the brave, it also sometimes favors the reckless, and there are riches to be had deep within the abyss. Legend tells of a mighty suit of armor, helm and shield, that once belonged to a fabled hero. Are you foolhardy enough to quest for them? Well, it's, I guess so, yeah. Power crystal? Well, dang, you know, I just got a total part of the power crystal doing the thing. So, um, apparently, apparently, items are very different in these various places. That's, that's cool. I, I can go with that. Um, wow, these guys can hurt a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be painful if he hits. Extremely painful if he hits. So, well, Amazon, okay, well, I guess it wasn't that bad. It could have been, yeah, it's still bad. Oh, man. Okay. Come on. Gotta do that damage. Yeah. That didn't really work out. Deep Dwarf gets a divine reward of one health from Mace. Huh. So I guess divine weapons can do that thing where they do stuff. They get health back. Well, that's cool. Oh, man, no more power crystal. That's just a shame. Oh, come on. I mean, it's not like I can outmaneuver you guys. This sort of stuff just doesn't work very really well. I know I'm, I'm not playing this the best way, but, but still. You'd expect me to hit more often. Just, just a tiny bit. I don't know. Extra health really helps, definitely. Definitely, definitely helps. So what, the Amazon is a... Uh... Oh man, I'm probably totally dead, aren't I? Oh, well, not totally dead. I guess that worked awfully well, didn't it? Archer's Ring! Ta-da! Although the divine damage loss... Seems like a lot of enemies do divine damage here. I'm kind of worried about getting one shot. Of course, quite frankly, I think I would get one shot regardless. So there's that to worry not about because death is going to be death no matter how it's sliced. Come on! Come on! There we go. And try to kill you. Alright. Pretty sweet. And... Oh man. Totally missed that. Damage and then 19, yes, that was going to happen, I guess. So we're going to be foolhardy for the third time in a row. And oh man, yeah, Swart Elf, Swart, the heck does Swart mean? I need to pull up a dictionary just to play this game properly. Twenty-two chance percent chance to hit, and he has already hit one more time than I have with my sixty percent. Oh, I, I don't know. I, don't know. Oh, no. I always feel like this game's kind of cheating me, just just a little bit. Not that you could notice. Oh. So this is just crap for me. Although it does give me defense. Defense sure would be nice. Manacles of steel. Manacles. And a nice little furnace. 
And we got another one of these sword elves. I swear my damage just slowly gets worse and worse over time. Oh man, I am so screwed, aren't I? Oh yeah. So screwed. I mean, eight? Eight. I'd run away, but it really doesn't help this game. So, yeah. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's a new, new dude for us to try out. Like, like an enchantress. Oh boy. Good old enchantresses. Seems like we're finding a ton of humans. Although the best character I've picked so far is the Woodland Elf. But um, let's just keep on with the same quest. I figure. You know, keep it to one quest a, a game. Okay, Enchantress, as I expected, is, um, you know, Wizard. Which is good when it comes to trying to kill and getting one hit. Wow. I have a feeling that this is, like, the very worst quest I could possibly have um, for, for this character because of the vulnerability to divine damage. Okay, so... Gown. I have a gown? Man. Anyway, whatever. Power crystals to the rest of That is a really, really loud attack. But I am very thankful for Shade Form. As it's supposed to make enemies, like, almost never hit me, so... Man, that did not work as well as I was hoping it was going to work. Yeah, 30... 34! 34 damage, wow. Okay. Um, let's see if somebody else has shown up by now. Do we get a new character, perhaps? Uh, well, um... The wizard never really got a lot of action. And so he's not actually, um, screwed by resistances here. So, it's better than nothing. And I get melee damage. That is not what I need. Is magic just science you don't understand? Um, well, there is that one quote by that one dude that says, uh, you know, officially advanced science is indistinguishable from magic. So. so there's that. Yeah, this really isn't working. It's weird that guys with only a 22% chance to actually hit me or 18% chance to hit me. Managed to do that as often as they do. Whereas me with my 60% just kind of really doesn't do very well very often. At all. So I don't I really don't know. Is it a bug? Is it just kind of a really hard game? I think both. Well, no. I don't know if it's a bug. That's, that's definitely... Whoa. Can I open this? No? You're just gonna let me leave the caged slave girl. Right. Well, I mean, it's not like the stairs are right there or anything. I could totally get her out of there. Whatever. Obviously, she's just part of the scenery. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um... Wait, is that... No. Uh, that's just stuff. Oh! Totally, yeah, I'm dead. All right. Probably. Dead. And no. Wow, lucky me. Yeah, once again, magic dies from using that. Well, no reason not to pick it up as a, I don't know, just extra backed thing. Mighty potion for ranged damage. Good. Don't really need ranged damage. And you are a giant centipede, you will probably kill me, huh? Yes, maybe, no, yes, no. I mean, you couldn't have killed me in one hit. Oh, you never know. You just never know. And how come I'm not dealing full damage with these guys? Seems like sometimes I deal full damage, but sometimes I don't. And then I'm one hit. Okay, cool. And... Mighty Cell for more ranged damage that I don't need. Sigh. Oh boy. Great. 
already dealing with a really powerful situation now. I'm probably gonna like just get annihilated somewhere along the way. Although definitely this is the ideal of being able to get things from really far away. But they just kind of yeah. That guy came out of nowhere right here. Most assuredly. And no, I'm not dead yet. I think I need to uh, relocate myself. Come on, come on, don't, don't have clicked to get too much. Don't have clicked too much. Die, maybe? Cool, he's nice and dead. Of course, killing enemies, the only benefit to killing enemies is that they very might possibly give you stuff. You know, items. Items, yes. Items. Um... I guess I'm just kind of hoping that I'll hit this guy when he's right next to me. Maybe? And... Nope. Well, he didn't kill me back yet. There we go. Okay. Oh, jeez. He has a crossbow. Workers! Well, I was should have seen that coming. Blast it. Blast it. Well, once more with the, with, with the wizard. See if we can't get anywhere. Fight! 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 And... Yeah, the delay's annoying, but like I said, it's, it's totally the fact that I have to record and has nothing to do with the game itself. So, that is not a... Other than the fact that perhaps it could be nicer and I can't see him? No, can't hit him. Um, other than the fact that I can't record perfectly with this game, I mean, it's not really negative in any way, shape, or form, or biscuit. Oh man, I could go for some biscuits right now. Biscuits and gravy. Anybody else like biscuits and gravy? I didn't think I would like biscuits and gravy because I was never a gravy man. Breakfast gravy is so very different from dinner gravy, so I got no complaints there. Aw, oh, man. Okay. At least I'm alive. And not for long. <laughs> not for... well, I'm still alive. Nope, not anymore. Not, not anymore. Alright, well that's enough with that. Let's see if we can't get a new character. New character. Not yet, not yet. I guess I don't know how to get a new character. It just seems to happen at random, sort of. Maybe you unlock it, but there's no explanation for it. Um... Let's see... Well, let's go ahead and do one of the old quests. Um, maybe it has something to do with that. Or, you know what, no. Uh... I think the fighter, the knight, is going to be really good over here. So, let's go ahead and... Try using the night, and again, we just kind of leave a slave girl right next to the stairs. Everybody skip and go, huh? Oh. Well, you didn't feel like skip and go. Did you? Neither did you. Surprisingly enough. And... Another hit. Two in a row. May I remind you that... He has a 23% chance to hit. I have a 60% chance to hit. I've only hit one and three, and he's hit two and three. It's, um... I don't know. It's weird. I don't know if it's... If it's actually doing something wrong. Ugh, it almost just feels weird. Okay, so I'm probably going into here foolhardily. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah, and that was another mistake. Maybe I should try using the keyboard. I don't know. I'm more of a keyboard man, usually. Come on. Just kind of swinging at each other. Maybe we won't get killed. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Elf. Um, I guess we'll just put this in my other slot. In case I ever need to do range. In fact, I can probably, yeah, consider doing range like for instance right now. Uh, and then we'll switch back. 
see this is this is where the offhand can really come in handy when you already have kind of a buff character um, who on occasion may want to switch to a ranged but ow for a character that has range to begin with switching to melee only helps on occasion well that's a lot less yeah just not enough damage I need a, a good amount of damage you know right well let's see if we can't make this guy kind of follow us appropriately here man well whatever uh I guess, yeah, I, I have a feeling if I did that, that would work. It's not the perfect way to do it, because I lose a turn inevitably, but, um, you know, whatever. Resistance to lightning! Hooray! And then we get a ceremonial amulet. Well, I have nothing else in that spot, so let's just go ahead and do it. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I thought the idea for these videos would essentially be now that we've actually completed a quest, is that I would try to do perhaps the first floor or so, um, normal, just kind of get my stride, so that everybody can, <sighs> great, so that, so that you can actually see my, uh, my build up a little bit. Ow. Serious owies. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Um, yeah, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, great. So, huh, wow. You dealt more damage than I was expecting. Uh, but yeah, once I get my stride, once I get to the second floor, so I just kind of say, um, you know, get to the part where I'll just fast forward until we figure out what we're doing uh, with everything else. Really? You're not even... I'm totally unarmed when I do that. I don't know. Maybe there's other game mechanics here at work that I'm unaware of. So, man, these guys are almost really smart. Almost. But, okay. Well, at least they decided to approach me now. Now that they got a hit off. 11 damage? Oi, man. Well, I mean, that's expected. Just, wow. This early game is just absolutely vicious. And, I mean, on the other hand, sometimes you get stuff that's just kind of whatever, because they're not really hard, but all these noble dudes, just, all the deep dwarves are really, really powerful. Very much so. Like, yeah, I mean, just taking lots of damage. <laughs> taking lots of damage! Okay, well, at least two more. There's more. Ow. And... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe... No, see... Maybe this isn't, like, a actual chance to hit? I don't know what else. No, see, right, two hit. Melee attack has no range. Uh, two hit percentage chance, right. That's how that goes. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm still not getting anywhere here. Did I get anybody new? Let's find out. Nope, nobody new. Maybe I have to actually progress properly. Some, or just, you know, play these quests. I don't know. That's quite possible. I thought I'd do, um, um, oh, what was it? I never really played much of Journey to the Kim, 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 Kim thing. Human Enchantress! Because hopefully we are not have, we don't have strict resistant, you know, crappy, you know, vulnerabilities in this case. And, well, you don't do a lot of damage. And that kind of works out. Alright. Please die, thank you. I thought I'd just kind of switch to that. For now, why not? So, 
human enchantress. She might actually be useful in this game. Wow, one hit. Nice. I mean, I do deal a decent amount of damage. I just happen to have that resist, that vulnerability that all the deep dwarves like to uh, take advantage of. So, it's not good for that quest. I think I've explained the, the Kaiman Kimon quest before. Um... Okay, there we go. Alright, so, uh, yeah, skins from animal, makeshift bed or rug. I've explained this quest before, it's like you gotta go fight the, the, the demon, the only demon. Um, ooh, hobgoblin. Okay, these guys are slightly more powerful. Fire damage destroys. Oh, man. Destroys. Great. I'm gonna have to hope that it doesn't keep destroying, because that would be annoying. To the point where um, this character wouldn't be particularly useful, I guess. To that, fifty-seven uh, percent chance, and three times in a row. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm, uh, no. No. Instead, we're gonna open this barrel and get this potion of vitality for probably health. Yeah. But I mean, I can't be complaining right now. I need health. Ow. For example. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Try again and fight a goblin right from the start. At least you deal no damage. You were on the stairs. How did I get down here? Maybe you followed me from above. I guess I could see that. Alright, so here we are. Ooh, man, lots of deuces right there. Raised fight! Yeah, this isn't gonna really go well for me. I'm actually gonna have to get them in the, uh, yeah, close to me. Okay, uh, okay, both of them can. They can, yes, indeed they can. I have no defense right now to stuff. There we go. <laughs> Once more! Uh, dummy with armor. Oh, that's the tough part about being a mage. Anytime you wear armor, it always affects you. It always affects your uh, capacity to deal magic. Well, same with ranged. It always. Just ranged attacks in general are affected. I mean, even. Well. That's because I have armor that increases my magic. Something. Potion of Glory for health. I guess that happens. Rogue's Drought for ranged stuff that I don't care about. Fight you. Man, you deal a lot of damage. This Huntress. Even though you look just like the, the males. Unless these are all females too, huh? Maybe. And you're a run. So Really don't do much damage at all. You're a spring lamp. You deal even less damage. Uh, well, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I guess I will just wear that. Not the best way. <sighs> Destroys the staff. Fire damage is not my favorite thing right now. Again, destroying everything. Destroying everything that I might very well have. Okay, nice and dead. Okay, open that door, kill this, that dude rather quickly, and it, 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 it. take that, maybe, oi, I wish I knew why the delay happened, it happens often sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't, I turned off almost everything on my computer to get this recording to go as it's going right now, so. I don't know. I really don't. But we're trying to see where that dude actually came from. And I guess he came from way over here somewhere. Hard to say. Open here. Kill Springling. Kill Runt. Even though he uses his hood then. Oh, I don't know. Okay, nice and dead. Nice and dead. 
You're not too worried about the spring. I'm more concerned about yeah. Okay. I can hit you. And what the heck? A red grog. Album brood, huh? I'm not worried about that. Okay. Well, at least you're dead now. And I suppose I'll just pick that up anyway. Wow, that was very bad for me. Very bad indeed. Why couldn't it have been magic, huh? Why did it have to give me melee? Perhaps that should be expected for goblins. Because they don't really use magic much. And would you not open the doors? You're just going to let everybody yell. It's quite a draft of goblineering going on. Goblin Rager. Dude's got a big, big club and he's not afraid to use it. Yep, that's how that goes. Well, I've been at it for quite some time now. I think I will leave it at that. Uh, oh man, there was a... Just when there was an altar too. Well, whatever. This has been Game Hunter playing some hack slash and loot. And join me next time when... Um, well, we might be finishing up. I don't know. I'll joke, go to a new quest and we'll see how well it progresses. So, uh... You know, until until then. Oh wait, we got a new character. We totally got a new character. So we'll have to try him out next time. The hill dwarf. So yeah, until next time. Keep playing those roguelikes, guys. Take care.